Ford's facelift of the latest Focus has involved a serious nose job and it looks a lot better for it. It gets a new chrome surround Aston Martin-esque grille which has already been seen on the Fiesta and the new Mondeo and it really has set the Focus off a treat. It also gets a new bonnet, new front fascia and slimmer chiselled headlights which all add to the dramatic effect and the back of the car also looks sleeker with its thinner tail lights. The new look fascia has also been given some attention it's got these nice clear instruments and it debuts the SYNC 2 connectivity system from Ford which means you can control your phone through it, the radio through it, the sat nav where fitted and you can also use voice control so you don't even have to take your hands off the wheel. The whole fascia has been simplified with less buttons and it's much easier to find your way around and it has a real quality feel to it, even the steering wheel has a nice padded touch. The Focus has always been one of the benchmarks in this class for the way it drives and it's even better with this new model. The front end has been made stiffer and the control blade independent rear suspension has also been tweaked to give it better stability in corners and reduce the wheel movement. And it hasn't been at the expense of ride quality. The Focus is as good as a car as in the class above in the way it just soaks up bumps and lumps for smooth progress. It will gobble up the miles and that's why it's popular with so many company car drivers. As well as tweaking the engines, Ford has also introduced some new ones and the result is they're up to 15% more fuel efficient with significant reductions in CO2 emissions. As well as the 1 litre EcoBoost, there's also a pair of 1.5 litre EcoBoost turbo petrol developing 150 and 182 PS. It's a new 1.5 turbo diesel with 95 or 120 PS and there's also a 150 PS 2 litre turbo diesel. It's not difficult to see why this 1 litre EcoBoost engine now goes into 30% of Ford Focuses in Europe. It really punches above its weight and that's why this little three cylinder turbo has been International Engine of the Year for a record breaking three years running. And the 125 PS version has enough poke to make good progress. And I'm getting 50-53 to the gallon overall which isn't far short of the official claimed combined. And if you don't do the miles it's probably a better bet than a diesel. The five door hatchback boot isn't huge at 316 litres but it's deep and well shaped. Lay the 60-40 rear seat backs flat and it rises to 1215 litres. There's also decent leg room in the back so adults can travel in comfort. Whatever way you look at it you have to face up to the fact that Ford has taken the focus to a new level and it really is the car to beat in this class again.